welcome again so in this video lesson let us learn about the first test level that is unit level also we call it as component level so the overview let us understand first about component level testing so a component is a minimal software item that can be executed and tested in isolation so every developer in a software project they develop one program at a time and as they develop that one program at a time that has to be tested in isolation and we have to check validate whether it is meeting its code specification or not so that is why we do component level testing so the purpose of component testing is to uncover mistakes in components program code so that these errors can be corrected quickly and very efficiently because that is why developers do this activity at the time of developing code and also the variety of approaches are followed for doing component testing and one approach to component development is called test driven development especially in the agile environments people use what we call the tdd approach test driven development our goal is not to understand at this moment what is tdd but this is one of the approach widely used nowadays to perform unit testing so what they do the developers create automated test cases using one of these j unit or n unit frameworks and they do this activity of developing the test cases or test scripts before coding so that is why we call it as test driven development so the tests will drive how code will be written so when you have time please google it and learn for yourself what is tdd approach because this is one of the approach that is being widely used nowadays in software development and another point that we need to know about component level testing is that component testing often requires these what we call test harnesses like j unit like n unit the all these unit test frameworks are widely referred to as x unit frameworks what are these frameworks these frameworks are nothing but they are an environment for executing unit tests and to do that we use sometimes set of dummy programs and these dummy programs are called stubs and drivers we will learn about stubs and drivers little later so a collection of stubs and drivers and an environment for execution of tests that is what we do at the time of unit testing and that is called test harnesses so as i told you in the previous lesson for every level we need to understand some key concepts so let us understand all these key concepts for unit level now so what is the primary objective of unit level testing the primary objective is to find defects early and confirm that the components are functioning as specified and implement the requirement specifications very important and at the time of writing the code in isolation we have to meet this objective and what is the information that is what we call the primary test basis what information that we will use to perform component testing the component requirements sometimes the detailed design and the code itself so the primary test basis is also important component requirements detailed design and code the third item we need to understand about unit level testing is what will be tested what is the test object the test object is components programs sometimes the database modules that is what will be tested and the fourth item is what are the primary types of testing that will be deployed at the component level we will deploy functional type of testing we do specific non functional types such as resource behavior and robustness testing so how memory is being used what cpu usage how is it being used all this low test testing has to be done very early in the life cycle by developers so that the programs are efficiently running on your machines so these are the type of testing we do and what are the typical defects we find during component level the code logic errors unimplemented functionality unhandled error conditions design mistakes environmental compatibility issues and sometimes when you look for efficiency 
point of view at the code performance problems so these are the typical defects found during component level testing and who performs this testing it will be performed by the developers and the seventh item is where this unit testing will be done which kind of machines will use these are that is what we call test environment the test environment for component level test is development machines the people the developers whatever machines they are using on those machines only component level will be performed and the next item is what kind of tool support needed to perform component level testing the, as i told you the x unit frameworks are very important they are open source as well as commercial tools are there and in the process of unit testing we have to use tools like debuggers and as i told you we need to write lot of programs that are called stubs and drivers i will explain to you what is a stub and driver little later but these are all the tools that are needed to do unit level test and the last item that we need to think about what is unit level testing specific approaches are as i told you the test driven development and pair programming both of these are approaches that are coming from the agile world for performing uh, unit level testing so these are the nine items we will describe for every level but please keep that in mind so now let us come to the concept of what is a stub and what is a driver so stubs and driver programs they together refer to as a test harness and they temporarily replace components that have not been built or not at available in the development environment so when you are writing programs one developer writing one program at a time and testing in isolation while you have to do a component test lot of times components need some data from other components or components will give data to another component so let us look at this diagram so we have two programs ready one is component a another is component b and component a when it is unit tested in isolation component a will have to be tested and it is getting some information from component b but fortunately both components are there so you can do the testing very easily so but let us look at you are testing component a which is getting some information from component b but component b is not yet ready so to complete your testing you need a dummy program that represents component b otherwise you will not be able to complete your unit testing of component a so you have to artificially temporarily create a dummy program replace that by whatever the dummy program replaces your component b so whenever you are do doing such a dummy program that is there below your component a then we are calling those dummy programs as stubs so here in this example in this diagram i have component a i am testing it in isolation but component a get some information back from component b but unfortunately component b is not ready at this moment so should i stop testing no you have to create a simple dummy program representing component b so whenever you are writing such programs those programs are called stubs and if you look at the diagram now you have component b ready and you want to do the unit level testing of component b but component b is being driven by another higher level program component a which is not ready at this moment so how do i complete unit level testing of component b so i have to develop a script which replaces the behavior of a the way a is calling and controlling or the controlling the control flow of component b i have to write a dummy program and those dummy programs which come on top of the program that is being tested we call them as drivers so in unit testing we will be using based on which component and how it is organized and interacting with rest of the components we may use either stubs or drivers so this is the concept about stubs and drivers please look at the diagrams carefully and create your own mental model about what is a stub and what is a driver 
So with this, we talked about the component level testing. We understood the key concepts of all the nine items that are important for understanding unit level testing. And also we understood about stubs and drivers. So learn, have fun. <laughs>